Uh, I guess the the relevant question is after how successful the kicking operation has been the last two years, what do you think has been a little bit off this year? Yeah, you know, um, obviously, right, you know, right at the end of camp, we made, uh, you know, made some changes, uh, you know, in the operation and um, started off, you know, really strong. Um, but, you know, we had some uh, had a hiccup there in Cincinnati and uh, you know, the last last six games or so just, um, you know, haven't haven't been up to our standard. So, um, you know, every day, every week, um, you know, we kind of reset and definitely look at uh, what we can improve on and be better at. And, um, you know, I, I, I think that, uh, you know, that we're working, you know, towards being, uh, you know, being the unit that we have been in the past. So, you know, it all starts um, and ends with me. Um, I got to make kicks uh, whenever my number's called. And, um, you know, that's, uh, that's the plan moving forward. Brian Wood. You mentioned all those changes. Um, a, a lot has gone wrong in front of you that's outside your control too with the operation this season. Are you comfortable right now? I mean, how, it, with all, all those things that, that have happened, uh, is, it, is it hard to be comfortable when you're, when you're waiting for a kick? You know, um, you know, obviously we made a change uh, right at the beginning of the season with JK and, uh, and bringing Corey in. And, um, you know, Corey's, you know, been a, been a true pro. He works really hard at it, um, you know, and how we started the season, um, you know, we, we were rolling. And then, you know, there, there's just some growing pain sometimes. Um, you know, it's uh, this, this has happened in the past. Just, um, you know, you, you start kind of seeing things and working through it. Um, you know, unfortunately, they've kind of come in bunches. Uh, you know, when you look at it, uh, you know, ultimately there's been four games uh, that we haven't been up to our standard. And, uh, you know, they've, you know, they, they've not been good. So, uh, you know, for me, it's continuing to go back into my basics, into my process, focusing on that, making sure that as a unit, uh, you know, we're fully, fully in, fully trusting each other. And then those guys in the front, I know, I know the, the offensive line, um, you know, is, is working their tail off to, you know, to have good sound protection every time. And, um, you know, when I look back at, uh, some of the film and some of the things it's, uh, it's frustrating if I if it wasn't my job and I wasn't in the middle of it uh, you know I'd kind of it, it you know you'd almost kind of be like man just everything that could have gone wrong in a few of these situations kind of did and um, for me it's uh, it's that you just have to flush it move on um, I I look at every situation every kick in a game as uh, you know as a, as a one and done you uh, you reload and you go to the next. Same with each week, one game seasons. Focusing in on the Vikings this week, making sure that uh, we put in a good week of work. And you know now with the snapper change here going into week three, um, you know we've been able to you know get enough reps, get enough uh, you know time together where um, you know that comfort level will start uh, start to hopefully show here in this uh, in this upcoming game. Jason Wildy. Hey Mason, thanks for doing this. Um, I, you know, I remember when Tim first started as the holder, like he was at home and Amanda was feeding balls into the jugs machine for him so he could improve as a holder. How much can a, a person, whether it's Corey or whoever, uh, improve and, and how important is it to figure out exactly what one kicker wants like you versus other kickers that you may have worked with in the past? Well, you know, uh, some of that, you know, is it's time and relationship and, uh, you know, the, the time that we have to work on things. And, um, you know, again, like I said, um, Corey came in, we, you know, we got off to a hot, hot start. Um, you know, we started having some operational issues and, um, you know, we kind of fell into a, a, a tough spot, but, um, you know, Corey is working really hard. He's, uh, you know, he's detailed in his, his work throughout the week and, um, you know, ultimately with me, um, uh, you know, it, it begins and ends with me with, uh, with how that unit, uh, you know, goes. So I got to make sure that, uh, you know, my, my timing and my, my work is, uh, is on point and, uh, and demanding it, um, you know, across the board that uh, every time we go out there, we're executing at a high level. Um, you know, that's my role as a, as a leader, as the kicker on this team. And, um, you know, as long as I'm able to kick a ball and, uh, and do this thing, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to always take, 
ultimate responsibility for uh, for what happens out there on the field. And then, um, you know, we're we're always going to fine tune it and work on it and make sure that, uh, you know, that that we get whatever we need to fix, uh, you know, right for that next opportunity. And, you know, even even just going back to last week, you know, we um, you know, we didn't make that first kick, uh, obviously disappointed in that. But, um, you know, we didn't let it fester throughout the rest of the game. You know, we executed on another field goal and then the two extra points at the end. So, um, you know, those things, you know, throughout a course of a season, sometimes you just have to draw on, uh, you know, any positives. And, um, you know, even when it's going well, you just you just look at the positives, try to build on those and make sure that, uh, you know, the, those negatives don't creep in. So for me, it's, um, you know, it's ultimately always going to be timing, um, seeing it enough that, uh, you know, that, that I can go out there and trust and execute at a high level. And, um, you know, we're trying to jam in sometimes what takes, you know, through the spring and training camp and all that, and all, you know, all those reps that we get, uh, you know, in this, in the short period of time and make sure that, uh, you know, we're ready to roll on, on game day, which um, again, like I said, this week has been excellent. We've had a good week of work and, uh, you know, looking forward to, to going out there and showcasing it. Matt, if you have another one, go ahead. I'm good. Ryan Wood. Yeah, I'm just curious if you could like take us behind the scenes and how much conversation goes into to getting this right. Obviously, you, you said that you're working towards fixing this. Mate, what what, what kind of conversations? And how, how much conversation goes on between you and and Corey and, and just just trying to get this thing right? Well, let me just first say, you know, obviously, um, you know the the misses that we've had, you know, it's been unacceptable. And uh, like I said, it starts with me and. Um, you know, I got to make sure that that I'm looking at the right things and being detailed. And um, you know, we're we're here. This is our job. We work every day, um, whether in conversation, uh, you know, mentally, and uh, you know, just you know, kind of looking at film and talking it through, or you know, executing and doing it on the field of practice. So, um, yeah, we're we're working tirelessly to make sure that um, you know that we execute at a high level. We have an excellent team, and um, you know, there's nobody that grinds harder than I have, you know, I've, I don't think anyone can, uh, you know, deny that through my career, I'm, I'm, I'm never going to, uh, you know, hang my head. I'm always going to keep grinding. I'm going to keep working and I'm going to make sure that as long as, as long as I'm kicking that ball, I'm going to go out there and, uh, and try to do it at the, at the high, highest level possible. So, um, and that starts during the week. Um, you know, what we see during the week uh, definitely, you know, usually correlates over to the game. So, Felt really good about the week of work, and um, you know that's that's what we need to do is make sure that we stack that. And uh, you know, my goal is to to not be talking about operation and, uh, and making sure that uh, you know we're we're doing what we need to to help this team win. Jason Wildy. Jason, who would you say was your best long snapper, holder, kicker combination that you've been part of? Was it when it was Brett and Tim and you? after you'd had a few years together, is that fair to say? Well, Jason, yeah, it's, I mean, I don't really want to get into that, you know, all that much, um, you know, because, you know, I, I do like to live in, uh, you know, in the moment that we're in. And, uh, you know, right now we're, you know, trying to shape this into, you know, to the operation, um, you know, in the unit that it needs to be. And, um, you know, it takes all of us and, you know, there's, Every year, every uh, you know situation, there's uh, you know there's different challenges that you have to jump through, and that, that was no different when Tim and Brett were here, and uh, you know Hunter and J.K. Uh, you know the the work that we put into to get in that operation, uh, you know um, to where it needed to be. So I think uh, you know it's it's just a process. It's a kind of a you know I I don't know if it's a normal thing. Obviously, uh, you know there's been some unique situations this year, but uh, you know it is it is something that uh, you sometimes have a little more time to work through through the off season. But uh, you know we're trying to really fast track and make sure that uh, that we're sharp here. So um, you know this is this is a new unit. Uh, we just changed snappers three weeks ago, so making sure that uh, that we're as sharp as possible. Yeah, sorry, I I wasn't clear on that. I I didn't want Tim to be able to tell his soccer team that you said nice things about him or. Brett to be able to brag at his uh, real estate meeting. The reason is that I what you were wanting to do? So if, if that's the case, and uh, you know, obviously I love those guys, and, and we we want a Super Bowl together. So uh, yeah, but, I mean, I mean, we had we had uh, you know some great years together, and those those two are uh, yeah two of my two of my really close friends. So on that front, right. um, you know, <laughs> but my my team side of it, you you know you know how it is. 
No, I understand. I, the reason why I was asking actually was I just wanted to get an understanding of of how far you guys have to go because you haven't had the time with Steven and with Corey like you had with those guys. And you guys spent so much time together and knew each other so well. Like, is it is there a, lot, a long way to go to getting to that type of a point? Because I know you don't have that much time. You got nine weeks and the playoffs will be here. But are you that far away or is it, or, or are they smaller increments that those of us on the outside don't quite understand? They may seem big to us. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously what everyone sees on the field is, uh, you know, <clears throat> just a, you know, a blip in, um, you know, the amount of time and effort and work that goes uh, into to every time we step on the field. So, um, yeah, I don't make excuses. I'm never going to be an excuse guy. So, you know, for us, it's it's right now. We we have to be good. We have to be right. It has to be automatic every time we take the field. So, um, you know, that that is what it needs to be. And that's the expectation. So we're not looking at, oh, uh, you know, we got to work. It's, you know, it takes time, all these things. I'm not, I'm not going to ever make an excuse there. Like it is, we are working through it. We're working on it now, every day, every practice, uh, in meeting rooms. And it, it has to be right. So um, that is the reality and that's what, uh, what it is right now. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not looking at the fact that um, we haven't done this together for a long time. Haven't had all that, you know, the, the extra reps as, as any kind of an excuse, we, we will be good and we will, uh, we'll get it right because uh, this team deserves that. And um, you know, we, we have something special here and we got to make sure that we execute at a high level. 